In this video, we are going to learn how to solve combination problems using our calculator. First, let's remember what it means to be a combination. Combination problems have to do with the number of ways to choose some number of objects from a larger set of objects. With combinations, the order doesn't matter. The notation looks like this. For example, if you had 10 objects, and you wanted to choose from that set of 10 objects, two of them. So like if you had 10 people and you wanted to choose two of those people to go do something, it would be represented by 10C2. And we can calculate this using a formula or with our calculator, if you have a graphing calculator. So the way you do it is first push in 10 into your calculator. That is your value for n. It's the larger number, the bigger set of objects that you're choosing from. Then you push the math button and scroll over until you see PRB, which stands for probability. Then scroll down until you see NCR, or you could push the number three and push that. So NCR stands for combinations. We already had to type in 10, which is our value for n. And next we're going to type in 2, which is our value for r. So type in 2 and then push enter. And it computes the number of ways to choose two people from a set of 10 people. And our answer is 45. So when you do this with your calculator, just don't forget to push the number for n first before going into the math button and finding the ncr command. So let's just try this again to see how it works. So say we wanted to do 7C3, which is if we had seven objects and we wanted to choose two, three of them, how many ways could we do that? So the first thing you do is push seven, then you go into math, go over to probability, and down to the NCR, or you can push three to jump there, enter. Then push three, which is your value for R, and then push enter to compute and we get our answer of 35. So definitely if you have a calculator, this speeds up the process of computing combinations and is a great tool, although I would recommend making sure you know how to compute them by hand as well and making sure you understand really where the formula behind them comes from.